your left, to your left. EJ, to your left. EJ, 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 right here, right here. EJ. Thank you. Shalom. I would like to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwinash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim, pushing this word out across the four corners of the world. I have an article from Yahoo.com, and the title says Magic Johnson dedicates heartfelt birthday tribute to his son EJ. Keep living your truth is what I love about you most. And this was published on June the 6th. 2023 and as you can see right here that's magic johnson taking a photo with his son who is definitely associated with the alphabet community and it says magic johnson went to social media on sunday to dedicate a heartfelt tribute to his son ej as he celebrated his 31st birthday happy birthday to my son ej he wrote i love your pure heart and creativity keep living your truth it's what i love about you most have a great day Magic's birthday tribute is the latest example of his ongoing love and support for EJ, who has served as an inspiration for many people since coming out as gay in 2013. The NBA Hall of Famer, who has continually raved about his son's courage and kindness, continued to speak proudly when he sat down for an interview with people in March. I love EJ's career. I think that EJ is really taking charge of his career and making his own decisions, and he knows how and what he wants to get into, he told the outlet. I'm really proud of him because he's getting so involved and letting his voice help other people too. While serving as an advocate for the LGBTQ community, EJ has also continued to build his acting career. The 31-year-old has starred on Rich Kids of Beverly Hills in addition to performing as the voice of Michael on The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. As Blavity previously reported, Justin spoke with Variety in 2022 to talk about the journey he has shared with his son. The basketball legend said he initially struggled to understand his son's sexual orientation, but then became more open-minded over time. He changed me. He was so proud. This dude here is just so proud of who he is, Justin told Variety. As I grew older, as my wife talked to me, I could not judge EJ. I had to accept who he was and who he wanted to be. He actually helped me get there. Because he was so proud, Cookie said, look in the mirror. I said, you're right because I'm proud who I am and he got it from me. EJ said it was difficult to tell his parents that he is gay. My parents were the last people that I really had to talk to about it, he told Variety. It wasn't new for me, but they had to really take that in and digest it, especially my dad because he was really the last person to talk to. I think it was just a lot for him to swallow in that conversation. A lot of just going back and forth and he just was rattling off about things that were not particularly nice but he's not somebody who works great being cornered or surprised. Justin and Cookie now praise their son nonstop. Happy birthday, my EJ Justin. You are my great love. I pray that the Lord will have favor on you and bless you abundantly in your 31st career. Cookie wrote on Instagram on Sunday, love you, sweetheart, mom. And you best believe within that Hollywood realm, when they say something about Lord or God, they are referring to the spiritual demon Satan. And in more particular, they are referred to Baphomet, which is a transgender deity. And that's like the main deity that they uphold within the Hollywood realm. And that's why you hear everybody talking about the goat this or the goat that. To the masses, they might understand that as the greatest of all time when you say the word goat. However, they are really pledging allegiance to Baphomet. So it says right here, Justin and Cookie are especially proud of what their son is doing for LGBTQ people He's saving a lot of people's lives and people don't even know. And I'm so proud of him, Justin told people. So there you have it. And this is also spiritual because it shows you in the spirit how nothing is new under the sun. Because things that happened before time are all reoccurring again in this time frame in the process called reincarnation. Like those same wicked spirits that was doing mischievous things back before time. Well, they are back here in today's time and about to get ready to receive their judgment. So therefore, this is a clear example of our people passing their sons or daughters through that fire, which was a detestable act of a sacrifice where you had our people who passed their sons and daughters in order to worship the God Molech. And this deity Molech is also known as the God of child sacrifice. So fast forward to nowadays, you have a lot of our people within this Hollywood realm, this entertainment industry, and the list goes on, 
they still have to appease those gods because the god of this world, referring to Esau Edom, reverenced these ancient gods and these ancient customs. Again, such as passing your son or your daughter through the fire. And you do have a lot of our people, once they make their covenant with death, referring to Esau Edom, they either have to do a blood sacrifice by sacrificing a close loved one or friend or associate, and or you will have to spiritually sacrifice your son or daughter by making them a global disgrace, such as this case right here with Magic Justin and his son, a walking abomination. Let's get right quick, Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. There should be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And once you go into the word Sodom, it goes into burning. Spiritually, look how these modern Babylonians or modern Egyptians are burning in their sexual lusts, cravings, and desires. And by Magic Johnson and his wife openly telling his son to live your truth, that is nothing but a do as thou wilt philosophy. And Magic Johnson's son, EJ, he has a popular status within the current fashion of this world, and where he is enabling or seducing other young Jakes to follow his lead. Which takes me to Proverbs 17, verse 15. He that justified the wicked, and he that condemned the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord Yahweh. So when you justify something, that means you're trying to appear to make it righteous. So by Magic Justin and his wife openly telling his son to live your truth, you are justifying for this walking abomination. So therefore, that makes you and your wife a walking abomination. And these are some of the perks that you get once you make that covenant with death. You will get highly elevated and esteemed within this world. And for Magic Justin to be within this limelight after all these years shows you also through the spirit that he's associated with this alphabet community as well. They are all pansexuals, and this is how they appease their different gods. You will have to get involved with Satanism. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You will have to be adverse to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh which goes into the laws, statutes, and commandments. And that takes me to Leviticus 18 and 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, again, which is the God of child sacrifice. Neither should thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord Yahweh. And you have many cases of our people within this Hollywood industry. They are spiritually passing their sons and daughters through the fire to Molech. Dwayne Wade and his son, Will Smith and his son and daughter, in this case right here, Magic Johnson and his son. So that's spiritually passing your son or your daughter through the fire to Molech. And by appeasing this false deity or God, you will get special perks within this current world. But Jake forgot who they made that covenant or that promise with. Esau Edom, which is a deadly serpent that the Bible speaks about. So therefore your covenant or agreement with death will be disannulled because you put your trust in uncertain riches and not into your power source, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh And that takes me to Isaiah 3 and 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory. So for the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, which compose of the 12 tribes of Israel, the majority of our people are with this wicked sacrifice, which is nothing but madness. And that's because you are ruined or morally decayed by the philosophy of this westernization. And these type of sacrifices are nothing but a smoke unto the Most High Yahweh's nose. Verse 9, the show of their countenance do witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So again, that word Sodom goes into burning. And carnality is very esteemed within this world. Obey your thirst, do as thou wilt. Just do it. No limits. So they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. And that's why it says in Jeremiah 5 and 28, how the majority of our people overpass the deeds of the wicked. Like for example, Esau Edom is a mole by default, and by Jake being the salt of the earth, in this case on the left hand side, they would like to outshine and be a flamboyant mole. And all these other nations gravitate unto it. Which is why when we read this article, Magic Justin stated he's saving a lot of people's lives, referring to his son. And the God of this world, which shows you how he's a very cunning, crafty serpent, he knows this.
He'll put a wicked flamboyant jake like this in the forefront and will have everybody gravitate onto it. But the majority of our people not knowing that type of wicked sacrifice that you are making within your grace period, you're going to get it back in blood in the way of judgment. As it says, the same must know it after death by pain. Verse 10, say ye to the righteous that it should be well with him for they should eat the fruit of their doings. So the energy that you're putting out there, whether it be wicked or righteous, we all will have to answer for it. That's pursuant to 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in this body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. And that takes me to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 16. As for the children of adulterers, speaking about two-thirds of our people within America, they should not come to their perfection, which means to come into this understanding. Having the gift of the Holy Spirit to be able to discern what is right, what is wrong, according to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And the seed of an unrighteous bed should be rooted out. For though they live long, yet should they be nothing regarded, and their last age should be without honor. They are fighting blood, sweat, and tears to build a legacy within this continuing city. And this is definitely not our risk. However, they have to learn the hard way. And that takes me to verse 18. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial. And that main day of trial is referring to the times of Jacob's trouble, a time frame that this world has never seen nor experienced before. So wisdom and knowledge is not going to be the stability of two thirds of our people's times within America. They openly despise the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh by disregarding the Lord's righteous prophets. So that type of wicked energy that you put out there, you will definitely answer for it. Verse 19, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Case in point, Magic Johnson, his wife and his son, which all three are walking abominations. So, I brought this out. You always edify. You always stay strong. Keep pushing forward. Shalom.